That was funny. Kind of weird. Yeah, we have him Eon in a quick minute. I know he entered uh, the Nintendo event. I don't know if you saw any of that or the bracket or anything. They had no. I don't event. know. Did, did he make it out or? Um, no, he was really close. Um, I think he ended up getting. I forgot who he lost to. I know if I ask uh, Jake, he would know. Jake and Eon played um, super close. So I think he ended up getting like fourth in the tournament. Um, but he he played really well, and they were like top. I think he was like top six or something when he was in the event. And it was basically if you won uh, the tournament, you ended up uh, going to Japan. I know it was like four players, right? They were going to make it out to Japan, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. He was like top eight somewhere around there, along with like Sweet Tea. Um, and then Nintendo was in as well. So, yeah, it's nice to see him back. And Key as well. Haven't seen Key Snake in a while, actually. Yeah, so Key as of late, he's kind of been taking uh, joy in playing other video games as well as playing the. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure uh, fighting yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, really, really fun. So he uh, takes pleasure in playing other fighting games aside from Smash. So both of these players now back into the perspective games here that made him very, 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 very famous. Yeah, I'm sure. I've definitely been taking a little break from Smash and everything myself, especially with so many games being released. But anyways, talk about that there. Talk actually, about being released, right? <laughs> yeah, and actually, Arsene's already up, gone. That was a perfect opportunity for him uh, to get the stock lead here. Up in percent, going to get that down tilt to up tilt there. Super clean. Coming out from Eon here. Yep. Really yep. racking up the damage to 40% on key. Just relentless. Good back air. Understanding the fact that he might have been looking for a cross up. Oh, missed the grab here. Oh, look at that for that up tilt. You know he wants it. Applying a lot of shield pressure here. Ooh. Good tech and able to survive here, but you know, either way, Eon gets the last hit in that ledge opp opportunity. Okay, nice. Good back air. Eon was trying to read his get up. Oh, I like it. Tries to make sure that Key is going to find something when he tries to survive from the stage. Ooh. All the traps that Key's setting up, too, they aren't working. Eon definitely. No stranger to this matchup. Oh, oh back wow. did not yeah. make a threshold. I forgot, yeah, when you have a, when the snake has a B out, you could, like, it has super armor. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, you have to have about 7, 8% to actually hit snake off the cypher. Cypher, right? I was going to say. I was going to say cypher, but I didn't want to, like. <laughs> you don't want to get wrong. <laughs> I didn't like, want to be wrong. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure cypher. You know, it's a helicopter <laughs> of some sorts. Some kind of, some kind of, like, some kind of drone. Oh, okay. I like that he actually went for the, the back the down there. Tilt? Nice. And fortunately, nice. though, Eon gets the cross up and he gets the better half of the stage. Able to take out key two stocks to one here. All right. Eon finds a landing. I like the fact checks key with an A-hop. Gets a little bit of a range here. Okay. Nice jab. We'll start setting... I Something like up here with the grenades. I'm, I'm trying to see, like, okay, so I was being really quiet for a minute because I was trying to see what he was going for. Um, but he keeps on opting for these grabs, too. He definitely just wants to, like, get in, grab you, and then he's not, like, he doesn't play, like, typical snakes. Like, I was recognizing usually snakes love to throw, place their C4, set up all these uh, walls with the projectiles, but he opts for a lot of grabs, which I'm recognizing. Yeah, and it's kind of one of those things for Key to understand, too, because Joker does like to go for Rebel's Guard, which allows him to get build up for uh, Arsene much faster. So for Key to understand, mm. like, yeah. Okay, if I'm grabbing him a little bit more often before he goes for Rebel's Guard, if I'm setting up all these projectiles, all these grenades, all these explosions, then I can get a grab and play the close quarters game a little bit better. Exactly. That makes sense, too, especially in this matchup. Definitely uh, could see why he's not opting um, for a lot of his uh, zoning right. tools. Looking for the landing here, but he Ooh. doesn't. He find a landing only the C4, he, but he missed the mark. Yeah, he placed that C4 forever ago, especially uh, when he recovered with Cypher. He landed, uh, he used the C4 to land safely, uh, mm -hmm. kind of threw it underneath him, and he had that set up there forever. And uh, it was almost really nice that he connected that, almost connected that. Would have been really nice if he did. All right, players have a little bit of discussion of whether mm -hmm. their bands are. Eon able to get that drag down up there into the up smash over Key, and that's kind of what took out the stock here. One of the things that we, we mentioned earlier, right, like he's playing more grab game. Key is trying to play the close quarters game because he knows if he gives Ars, um, Joker a little bit of that space that he wants to, 
Joker's just gonna be able to whip punish Snake a lot better and a lot effectively. Mm -hmm. So it's good the fact that he understands, like, I need to find a way to get Eon to hold shield so I can go for a grab, go for this close quarters Joker. combat, and then take it from there. That game was kind of a proving ground for Key. This game is going to be able to see how Key can implement that a little bit better and see what he can do against Eon. For Eon, though, it's good for him to understand, like, okay, I don't want to give Snake all the attention he wants. I can stand over here and use Gun. All right, yeah, here we go. We're seeing. I didn't even see Nikita being thrown out the last game, too, so I feel like he's definitely going to switch it up, kind of utilize a little bit more of his projectiles, kind of has a C4 placed down here. Um, going to offer a lot of more uh, grenade grenades as well and um, yeah I was just wondering why he didn't bring out Nikita uh, like at all in like the last match it's really I don't know he was just playing snake then I like <laughs> usually see snakes play so I was like really quiet like watching him just like processing it um, it's kind of like the close quarters combat yeah. game that he had between him and Eon not only that the startup and the end lag of using Nikita he did not find a kind of setup for when Nikita was going to be viable so sometimes in certain matchups, right, using a certain move like Nikita or even then using other moves do become unviable because of the way the nature of the character works against you. Yeah. All right, nice dash attack. Nice. Great way to take four. neutral super quick. Mm -hmm. My goodness, he just take, took the whole stage with that. Had so much knockback. Nice. Even had the C4 there in place trying to see if Eon, if Eon was going to react to anything of those options that played out. Oh, going oh. so deep. Look at Eon fishing. Wanting to get the stock out so early. Going so deep there. Missed, missed the grab opportunity here. Key looking for any opportunity to get Eon to actually respect him a little bit more. Gets only the jab and the uh, get off me option. Mm -hmm. Or down tilt as well. Yeah. Super nice. Option coming out. Let's see. We saw him set the Nikita there simply because that I feel like he was going to anticipate Eon's cross up, but unfortunately he could not anticipate yeah. the fact that Eon was going to go take the time to go off stage, hit him with the back air, and meet the threshold to get him off Cypher. I mean, he did have R Sen, so I mean, it was yeah. pretty. Eon was definitely in a good position to go for that back air, but I feel like Snake already has a hard time mixing up his recovery options already to begin with. Oh, we you know what he wanted there. He wanted him to roll into that up tilt. He was looking for it. Um, but I like the ledge, the edge guarding. Oh, that was so nice. Almost getting the down smash. Reading that roll get up. Nice. Looking for a follow up immediately. He's probably going to tech chase because he knows that's not the percent we're up to look for him. Double up smash here to get something. And unfortunately for Eon, that spot dodge was going to be the one thing that up smash is going to take care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had a lot of uh, traps right at the ledge there. All right. Okay, looking for a tech chase after that follow up. Yeah, definitely playing a whole completely different game than we were seeing uh, the first game. On the same stage, by the way. I didn't even choose a counter pick. He just it's seems all comfortable on this. It's all a whole different game, but then Key got grabbed, right? We see how much percentage Eon was able to put on Key. Yeah. Now it's up to Key to understand, like, okay, I'm far behind. Take my time to set up mm -hmm. and then look to see how Eon's going to approach me yet again. Here's a follow up, but he doesn't find anything yeah. from the Stairmaster. Not getting the tech chase reads here at mm -hmm. all. Super vital um, and really important, especially when you're um, down in percent on your opponent here. If you're going to go for grabs a lot more and you're not getting the follow ups, it's a little risky. Yeah. Oh my god, all That's the grenades little... being thrown out on the lead off stage there. And that was good for Key because he wanted to make sure he was going to be able to cover his tracks because he knew Arsene was out and that back air will meet and the threshold yet again. Yeah, it looks really difficult. As soon as Snake is off stage, uh, Joker can really apply a lot of pressure uh, pretty comfortably off stage with or without Arsene. And then just wave bounce the grenade to go ahead and try to cross <laughs> with Eon. That's the desperation you can see from Keen. He gets a down air, he gets Eon off the stage. There's a setup, and that's a confirm. He gets the forward, so Key yet again with another attempt. Eon, at this point, kind of not used to the fact that he was trying to go for a roll get up, and Key makes the call at the right time. When we talk about adaptation here, Key was one of the one of the players out there to make sure that if he had the ledge this time around, he was going to mix it up a little bit differently yeah. with Neon. Definitely mixing up his options and um, not letting his opponent get away with this. Too easy here. And that's actually what kind of separates, you know, um, in the long run, two certain characters is like edge guarding and uh, proper ledge trapping and all that stuff is super important because I feel like that's what makes and break uh, breaks like top level play. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like Exactly. And not, they not only to separate the top level uh, play from one another, but they separate the players from one another. Right? Exactly. The ability to understand what you can do in this kind of matchup here. The characters themselves, yeah. That's mm -hmm. why it's like every time I'm watching someone, they play their characters oh. so differently. So 
Not gonna kill here, but it's gonna do some damage against E. He drops the C4 there, hoping to sneak in something against Eon, but that Aegon putting Key off the stage. This is Eon's edge guard. Can get super scary here? Oh my god, he just recovered onto the stage. No balls. <laughs> yeah. Just went on to the stage. Didn't even uh, directional air dodge or anything, which we usually see some from snakes. Uh, but kind of backing to his C4 there that he had set up. Not going to get anything off of it. No, he's able Oh, he. Okay, yeah. so he posted on Twitter a little bit of a recovery tactic he could do with Snake. He tried to go for it. Hopefully, he could probably get a, uh, a wall tech. But unfortunately, he wasn't.